Okay, well, how'd this go? So this um, is still a major work in process. Okay. Progress. I sat down a couple of times, and I ended up playing the cheater version just because I love the song so much, mm -hmm. and the um, doing the descending um, bass line, and um, I kept forgetting, you know, I have to figure out, okay, B in, G with B in the bass, F with A in the bass, so the memorization is not there yet. Okay. So it was a lot of sitting there figuring, and then, you know, the song not sounding like the song, we, I mean, I know I've got to sit there for an hour or so and yeah. really get the memorization down. So and that's a, one of the things I really want to work on because I want to get my technical skills and my memories and me knowing where cards are better. Yeah. So I know I can't just push it aside and then play the fun stuff, the fun easy stuff. And that's what I've been doing. Right. That's okay. You know, uh, kind of okay. Um, understanding or hearing how the bass line works independent of the chords would, would help. Um, where's the first bass note? Um, oh, for C? Yeah, now just play the bass notes. Don't even put any chords down. Okay. okay. We just need the bass note for C, then the bass note for the next chord is where? And the next one. And the next one. And the next one. And the next one. Right. Okay, do that again. Because there's okay. a very simple pattern to that. It's the scale, isn't it? Okay, and you, and you're what I'm looking that. at. And if it, were, if it were able, the last note you played was what? Um, that was F. Oh, E, sorry. E, e, e. And if it continued down, the next note would be? Uh, D. D. We have to go up there, we're out of, we're out of room. So the next one has to be there. Right. And. Then, so that took us seven notes. We just went from C to B to A to G to F to E to D, and the last chord is a G. But to is bring, and it's just a regular G chord. We're gonna hit the low G in the G in the bass. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it go, it, it goes all the way back to. Isn't that the the bass chord? That was a bass note earlier for a C chord. We see we already went through that G on our way down. We went through G on the right. So what we had here was this right C. Do, 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 do. There was a G in the bass, but this is a G over... The chord right there is really a C when we get there, okay? okay. Uh, so you're not playing the bass chords in those? On the D and the G, it's not as important. Okay, okay. so they're getting... The, the chords, their uh, note is getting rung with the rest of the chord, but it's, you don't actually play... You don't have to pick it out as much. Oh, okay. But on the others, you really do, because you really have to hear this. So try that. So we got the C in the, in the first place. Now G, with the next bass note is B. So go to the bass note first. Right. All we care about is, is that bass note B. And then whenever, as it turns out, whenever we have B in the bass in this song, it's only for a G chord. It's always going to be that. Whenever the bass note is B, that's what you're playing. Right. And whenever the bass note is A, which is the next one, you're only play, this always happens over, over a little F chord. 